Relax your spine straight. Take your shoulder blades down the back. Take your left ear to your left shoulder. And exhale forward. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale forward. There's a lot of moving that you can do in a chair and we're gonna try and do all of it. Still doing the neck. Keep, keep moving your neck back and forth. And then the next time, well, let's do one more. Next time it comes to your right shoulder, take your right hand and just set it on top like that. And feel that, feel that muscle right there. Think about the way that muscle is connected. This muscle, see if you can feel the connections between this muscle and the bottom of your foot on the left side. Can, I can, you can. Exhale down, inhale, other way. And now take this hand up onto your head, same thing. All the muscles in the body are connected. And that's why yoga works the whole body because when something is not functioning, like when your neck is really tight or something, it's, it doesn't just stay isolated in that one area. It kind of sends tension to a lot of places. Exhale forward. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, cow tuck. Inhale, cow lift. And then take your legs apart wide. And let's come down for our first forward bend. I like it. Come on down. You've got a desk. If you've got a desk, I don't have a desk. If you have a desk, maybe lean on your desk. And see if you can identify those IT bands. Maybe you can. I can feel my IT bands here. The IT bands are the um, ligaments that connect your legs onto your body basically they come down outside of your hips and down into the outside of your knees athletes runners hikers people who sit a lot people who drive a lot have a lot of tension in the IT bands so let them go here and then take your right elbow onto your right knee and the left hand goes up we're twisting and we're getting into the shoulder and we're mostly getting into this side body, opening it up. Good, and then exhale forward and let's do like this thing. Come on down, and down. And then when you come back up, let's do the cat tuck like that. So we're doing like a seated barrel roll. I'm sure it's totally stupid looking. Let's go the other way. But, it's so nice on the spine. Come on down. Yeah, one more. Mm -hmm. And now I have us going this way, but I really want us to go this way. So come down, and then end up with your left elbow and your left hand, pick up your right hand. Tuck this shoulder in, tuck your right shoulder in. And if it feels okay in your neck, you're looking up. And if it doesn't feel okay in your neck, you're looking down. One way or another, you're good. Feel whatever you're feeling. Come on up. Take your hands behind your back shirt back there. Grab your hands behind your back like this, see? Actually, let's all do that. That felt good. So we've got our feet planted, they're like three feet apart. We've got our shoulders rolling back and down the back, grabbing our hands behind us, and we're gonna lean on like that. Ooh. And then come on up and let's do it the other way. Nice. Yeah. All right, come up. And then put your left foot right in front of you. And we're gonna take our right foot and cross it on top. And situate yourself in your chair however you need to in order to come down directly into this right hip. This is where you wanna feel it, the right hip. Oh. 
find a place where you're, you really are letting that hip go. And let's just stay here for a long time. That said, if I've got you here and you feel it in this knee, this is where you're feeling it, that's not what you want. You want to feel it in the hip. And sometimes if the hip flexors are tight, say, for example, all the, all the athleticism that I mentioned before, running, hiking, driving, um, will make the hip flexors really tight and will make a bend like this come into your knee because your body wants to do it for you. But if the hip flexors are like rocks, it's going to take it into the knee. So what people like that need to do is come out and find a gentler bend where you find a place where you can feel it in your hip but not your knee, okay? So that's, that's your work. It's not doing what I'm doing or doing what somebody else is doing. Your work is doing what your body wants you to do. That's yoga. Alright, come on up. Well, let's just do the other side. Plant your left foot down. Take your right foot up. Cross it over. And then lean down over it. And lift up your knees like this. Wah! See if you can lift up your knees and your ankles. And then identify what is the part of your body that's holding up your, your legs right now. Is it your legs? Are your legs holding up your legs? Kind of. Quads are working. But really it's this. That was a trick question. It's the core. Core is holding everything up. So we're here and if you're working hard and you're like, that is hard. It's because it's hard. It's hard. We're working hard. And then let's come down out of this and take your legs to the side and come down in between them again. It's your forward bend. And now I want to try doing two things that I have not tried before yet in a chair. This will be exciting. Come to the edge of your seat. My pants keep falling down. I apologize. Stretch your legs out long in front of you. Inhale your arms up over your head. Exhale your hands to your heart. And even here, even here with our legs out straight in front of us, our feet are pressing into the ground. Feel those hamstrings releasing. That feels good. Hamstrings and calves releasing. Hands to your heart. Inhale arms over your head. Exhale your hands to your heart. Inhale up. Look up at your hands and now stretch your jaw. Take your bottom lip over your top lip and stretch your jaw. Mm. And then I think we're going to take our right hand here and grab our left calf and twist. Oof. Doing a little bit of a forward bend and a little bit of a twist. Make sure your chair is pretty well grounded. Good, now take your left hand over onto your right wrist and now we're here with our arms crossed. And let's sit up and grab some eagle arms like this, these eagle arms, wrapping around each other. Inhale them straight up. Exhale them straight down. Let's do that one more time, okay? Inhale all the way up and then see if there's a little back bend in your thoracic spine at the top. And then exhale down. And this time let's take our left hand to our right calf and twist. And by the way, if you can't get your hand to your calf, then put your hand on your thigh or wherever. Doesn't matter. We're just trying to find a twist. Little something a little halfway between a twist and a forward bend. And if you're like, man, 
It feels even hard to even just have my hand up there. That feels like work. Because yoga is exercise. Take your right hand down onto your left, what is that thing? Shin. And then come on up, crossing your arms over each other and inhale them straight up. And exhale them straight down. And inhale them up and see if there is a back bend for you at the top. Exhale, release your hands. And here's the thing that I was going to try that I don't know if it's going to work. But yeah, grab your toes if you can. Please don't kill yourself falling out of the chair. I'm planting my heels in the ground, leaning down towards those feet. Yeah, we really pretty much are doing Pachimottadasana forward bend here, albeit at a strange angle. And what you want to feel wherever and in whatever angle you're doing Pachimottadasana, in my opinion, is a release in the backs of your legs, hamstrings, calves. Some people who are very, very flexible, and really, I mean, these are pretty flexible people, are going to be coming down with their belly on their thighs and their head to their shins. Maybe that's you. If it is you, be careful. Don't fall out of your chair. If it's not you, don't worry. It just means that you are someone who lives a normal life in the 21st century and you probably have tight hamstrings. So just let them go here. That's our work. And then come on up, take your arms up over your head. Exhale your hands to your heart. Gonna bend our knees. Nope, we're gonna have them out straight. I really am making this up as I go. And then come up like this. Yeah, it worked. It worked. Let your head go back. And then come on down. Hopefully you have a pretty stable chair that's not like, for example, on wheels or something. Plant your feet, plant them really well. We're going to do it again. Yeah. Oh, it's good. And then come down. One more time. It's nice on the um, shoulders. And we're working the core. We're working pretty much everything. Bring them up. And down. <laughs> My chair is not very steady. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms over your head. Swan dive, forward bend. Come down into your Pachimottadasana, your forward. Forward bend. All right, we're doing good. Inhale up. And let's do one that I like that's kind of a combination of a hip opener and a side bend. On the floor we call this um, Janu Sursasana, or Vrita Janu Sursasana. We're going to come to the edge of the seat. Let's see if I can even do this. I'm going to take this foot on top of this leg. and uh, So <clears throat> I have my right leg pointed out to the side. I guess that would say, that would be like 2 o'clock. And then right here already I'm doing a hip opener. And remember what I said about knees before, okay? Don't feel this in your knee. Find some place, some angle where you can feel it in your hip but not in your knee. Because if you feel it in your knee, you are hurting yourself. Take that from someone who's hurt her knee that way. Then we're going to take our right hand, I mean our right elbow, onto our right knee. And open up like this. Oh, it's good, you guys. It's a good side body opener. It's a great hip opener all along the left side. Remember what I said about your knee. Protect your knee. If you need to come out of this and put your foot back on the floor, that's okay. And if you're like me and you've got weird rubbery shoulders and your shoulder tends to come up around your ear, don't let it. Make your shoulder be strong. Make this arm be like a ballet dancer. Strong arm. Because that's going to take the bend into the side. That's where we want it. Good. Release out of that. And now we're going to take this foot like that over to the left 
And we're gonna, so it's pointing at like 10 o'clock. Dust off your foot. And put it right onto your left thigh. First finding this hip, making sure it's not in this knee. You're gonna have to have a relatively flexible hip in order to do this pose without feeling it in your knee. So another way to do it, maybe if, you're, if your chair will accommodate, is to come inside like that. This is a pretty extreme hip opener, so be careful. Left hand goes on the left knee, come on up. One important thing to remember about yoga, whether you're doing it with me or in any class at any time, is that it doesn't really matter if you get all the way into these poses. Yoga is about repetition, it's about getting to the pose in such a way that it's comfortable enough for your body and then it, it gives you a little bit of relief so that you're like, okay, I can come do that tomorrow. And then you do it again tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. And that